Syracuse meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. We take you into uh, downtown Erie, Erie Insurance Arena on this dank, drippy night here on our U.S. netting cam. We'll go uh, county to county, live camera to live camera, just to show you it's a mainly rain situation right now. Uh, first stop, Southern Erie County, Edinburgh, Sam Catania painting camera. And what you're going to see here as you look uh, past the hotel and down to the borough hall is a lot of rain on the lens and a lot of rain uh, falling on the street below. Uh, we'll go from there to Meadville, and it's uh, Bentley Hall on the campus of Allegheny College through the mist. You can see the trees kind of blowing back and forth there. And the historic Flatiron Building downtown Warren with drops on the quick fill camera right there. So this, this is the way it is all over the area, and we're going to use radar just to show you uh, how the pink has been out here. This is where you can get some mix, but most of the snow is up in New York State. So... Uh, as you take a look at what's going on, basically you got temperatures staying above freezing along the lakeshore as you go on into tomorrow. Um, periods of rain will generally decrease, then they'll probably go to some snow at times tomorrow, but the storm will be past our area, and the warnings and the watches and the advisories are all well to the east of our area, so we're not looking for any big snow amounts as far as northeastern Ohio is concerned. Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango, Warren, or up into New York State and Chautauqua County. So, uh, next graphic will show you again a wider view of the precipitation, mainly rain down the I-79 quarter and close to the lake. You can see most of Erie County. Corey's had about three quarters of an inch of slush. A lot of Crawford County, including Conneautville, Sagertown down to Blooming Valley. And, and here's where you can get some more slush. Uh, Warren County, Clarendon, uh, Sheffield and up to Sugar Grove. So models showing rain mainly taking over and then as you go into the morning some snow backs into the area but that's moving away tomorrow afternoon. Our temperatures in Erie got up to 44 and as we said they're staying above freezing tonight. They'll peak at 50 on Monday then drop back the next couple of days. So this is a situation where we're getting more rain coming up from the south, a little bit of a mix to the east, and a nicer Sunday after 11 hours and 20 minutes of daylight for today. So our weather watchers checking in with readings upper 30s along the I-90 corridor, some spots getting close to freezing. And again, even in Crawford County, uh, not a lot of very cold air here, all the readings above freezing and, and then you go back east and you see these little pockets like Ludlow and Chandler's Valley where you can get a little slip and slide but not much because the winds are out of the east not coming down out of the north and actually the winds more of a problem than the precipitation for tonight as the storm system goes up to our west brings mainly rain except out east and when it gets past our area the cooler side of the storm does change the rain to some wet snow tomorrow as this goes past. But as we said, uh, even though it's chilly and damp, temperatures still above freezing for tomorrow and no major accumulations. Tonight along the lakeshore, windy, blustery, rain and raw, 31 to 34. Uh, south of 90, Corey and Titusville and Franklin, rain, snow and wind, maybe a slushy inch in the far eastern areas. You're at 21 to 23. And again, as advertised, mountains of Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean gets a mixed bag, but only up to an inch with temperatures near freezing. That morning snow or mixed snow and rain diminishing in the afternoon with highs in the upper 30s. Uh, tomorrow night, just a sprinkle or flurry. Sunday, clouds break for some sun. Monday, we get to 50 with late day showers. It falls with some rain or snow Tuesday couple of break days under the clouds Wednesday and Thursday and maybe another system with some rain or snow showers by Friday. Seven day available 24 hours a day on the Your Erie to go app. All right, Tom, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.